Hi everybody, I'm Phil. Um, just gonna show you a real simple setup real quick with the IO dock um, to control your music software on your computer. So basically we've got the IO dock right here. It's plugged in of course as it needs to be and turned on. Um, I'm just running a USB cable, uh, USB out MIDI to my little laptop right here. So I'm gonna plug this in right here. I'm gonna wait for the little boom. There we go. Um, and then all you have to do is open up your music software. I'm just gonna use Cubase LE right here. So that's loading up, loading the plugins and everything. Might take a little second. So we're just gonna open up a little project here, MIDI sequencer, there we go, and here it is. So on this first MIDI track, we're just going to leave input to all MIDI inputs, so the IO doc is in there of course, and we're going to choose real quick a VST instrument. Let's take the Alchemy synthesizer, which is a free download by the way in its basic version some fun sounds to play around with so as this opens up here it is I've got my factory presets let's take some random sound eclipse of mind we're gonna eclipse your mind and so now I'm back here on the Aya dock and my iPad gonna turn this on and I'm just going to use um, MIDI monitor just to check what's happening in terms of MIDI signals being sent. And it has a little keyboard, as you'll see, that we can use. So it already tells us it found the IO dock that's connected and it found also the Alchemy synthesizer. So that's all set to go. And with a little bit of luck, if I'm just going to play a couple of notes on here of course I need to decide that this is the instrument I'm using and there we go I can control it from the iPad and at the same time of course I can play around with the sounds in here lag but for synthesizers like this of course that will work nonetheless there you have it the IO dock used to control an onboard synthesizer on your computer thanks for watching bye